Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your end of week um, love message for week commencing Thursday the 7th of July through to Sunday the 10th of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of the week which I do apologise um, Aquarius. I did try and get all of the zodiac signs done by Wednesday but um, only, uh, I think it's three of you, um, three of the zodiac signs rolled over to Thursday. So um, I feel that the message still needs to land. So um, I will continue. So your first crowning message is Eagle Spirit. Spirit has got your back, okay? Um, so you can move forward and uh, bring a gentle touch to the situation. It almost looks as if someone's coming towards you, um, because spirit has got your back. Possibly uh, what I'm picking up as I'm channeling for you is that either there's a rebirth or a reconciliation coming um, with you and somebody else, um, or you could be going through a rebirth, a transformation, um, wanting love. Um, and it, it feels as if maybe you are being guided to be gentle with yourself, take down your guard. Bring a gentle, gentle touch to the situation. Um, if you are with somebody, okay, that has gone through a bit of turmoil, a separation, a breakup, there's a rebirth. And yeah, look, a transformation, I told you, it's a rebirth. So, um, uh, so Aquarius, um, you're being guided definitely that spirit has got your back in a situation. For some of you, if you're single, um, you may have put your guard up with regards to love, all right? Intentionally or unintentionally. You're being guided, I feel, to bring a gentle touch to yourself to open up, to receive love, be open to receive and give love and be gentle with yourself. You're going through a transformation. Those of you that are in a relationship or a relationship that didn't quite take flight, I feel that you're being guided to bring a gentle touch to the situation. I feel that this person may approach you and you're being guided to listen, listen, listen to your heart. Bring a gentle spirit. I feel that you're being guided with this gentle spirit, um, Capricorn. I really strongly feel that this is your energy. I mean, all of the cards are your energy. The crowning messages normally are. But for some reason, I'm picking up. This could be uh, somebody that you're connected to. All right. If this is some sort of reconciliation, I feel that you're being guided divinely, both of you to transform this situation because it will be really, really beautiful. And you're being guided to connect with your higher self. Listen, some of you might need to take some time out to just quiet your mind. Yeah, connect with Mother Earth, um, your higher self, divine spirit universe. However you do that, that long walk in, you know, in, in nature, go dip in the sea if you're near the sea. I feel that you're being guided to just have some quiet time so that you can listen. So you can listen to what divine spirit universe is guiding you to, all right? Either to transform a situation with somebody or divine spirit universe wants you to experience love. And so therefore, there is some transformation with you uh, that, that that needs to 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 be blo to, to, to be bloomed, to, to be triggered. OK, um, if you are connecting with somebody, I am picking up um, that they do want a rebirth. They do want a transformation. They might be a little bit scared. I feel that this person does love you. They're really looking at the detail of this connection with you. Many of you, you may have put a lot of time and energy into this connection. They are they are looking at that. For some of you, um, and, and this is a very strange message that I'm channeling right now. If you are single, you may have put uh, your finances or your career ahead of love. So you may have sacrificed love um, for... Uh, your ambition, your drive to be successful. You're going through a rebirth because I feel that Divine Spirit Universe 
wants to bring love into your life and whoever you're going to be encountering or you are going to uh, see or somebody you might know I feel that they do love they'll love you they'll love you unconditionally and the resting tree of course patience stillness remember look I was telling didn't I tell you I was channeling you're being guided to be quiet find a quiet space Aquarius and chillax let mother Ner um, mother earth cradle you you know, if some of you are very connected with nature, particularly like trees, go sit under that tree in that park or in your garden and just rest, be quiet, be still. And then be patient to listen to what Divine Spirit Universe is trying to communicate with you. I feel if this person, if you are in a relationship and somebody's coming towards you, I feel that you're being guided to listen to what they've got to say. And then we've got Gaia Gardens. There's a lot of energy here that's coming through Aquarius about reconnecting to your higher self, to divine spirit universe. And for those of you that I am connecting with specifically for you, it is through Mother Earth. Greenery, nature, the sea. All right. Mother Earth is fruition, abundant, reaping what you sow. What do you want for the future? You know, if you're not in a relationship, you may have achieved all your heart's desires. You're where you want to be. You're quite comfortable with your money situation. But money doesn't buy love. That's that's what I'm getting. So now you're being guided to sow the seeds for love. Yeah. Bring in a gentle touch to yourself. Be still. Be patient. Spirit divine has got your back to transform your life to bring in love. Those of you that are in a relationship or a relationship that didn't take off, you're being guided that there's abundance there's fruition, there's something blooming, you're going to be happy, sow those seeds and you will reap the reward and I feel sowing those seeds, bring that gentle touch, listen to what this person's got to say, they love you and for many of you this, this is really feeling like you're just being guided, whether you're single or with somebody or broke up with somebody, you're being guided to hold your peace and the cosmos yeah creativity vastness whatever your situation is uh, aquarius the cosmos divine spirit universe mother earth is almost as if unseen forces are willing you to create a vastness of love of oneness of togetherness it's like these forces of Mother Earth, Divine Spirit Universe is trying to create a vastness of um, love in your life. It's almost as, look, it's like the moon is blowing in a breath of fresh air to fill your life with um, something more, with love. Either love for self if you're single and you have put a guard around your heart. It's time for that guard to come down. The cosmos is blowing creativity because they want you to experience more than material wealth. And for those of you that are in a relationship or coming out of a relationship um, or a relationship didn't take flight, you're being guided to... Um, the cosmos wants you and this person to reconcile, to be patient with them, to be patient with yourself, to bring that gentle touch. Listen to what they've got to say. Many of you may be really pleasantly surprised in the change of heart or, you know, I feel whoever you're connecting with, those that are in a relationship or were in a relationship, I feel that they have a lot of regret. They have a lot of regret. Um... I'm also picking up, they're also a little bit scared, 
okay those of you that are single you may be scared to get back out there in the, the dating world don't be spirit has got your back okay spirit has got your back and the cosmos is blowing good fortune prosperity abundance when it comes to matters of the heart all right all right aquarius if this message resonates for you um please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other aquariuses it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated and i really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of um, this week's reading all right let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of aquarius sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing thursday the 7th of july through to sunday the 10th of july 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards aquarius that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. So we have all oh, the Hierophants. So this person is seeing you as long term commitment marriage, whether it's new an existing relationship or a relationship that um, divine spirit universe is wanting to transform. Okay. And bring the two of you back together. Um, which could mean that the connection never took flight. They're now seeing you as long-term commitment marriage. It feels as if whatever, there's a lot of divinity guidance going on here. Um, so it feels as if that whoever you're connecting with, they have had a gentle change of heart through divine spirit universe transforming their thinking. With the five of wands, maybe this person was conflicted. They had some internal conflict i feel of um you know whether or not the two of you should be together in a long-term commitment or whether the two of you should be married okay they may have had a lot of conflict and i feel divine spirit universe has transformed them all right this is why you're being guided to listen to what they've got to say and to bring a gentle touch because they may have a lot of regret that they didn't see this connection as long-term commitment, marriage material sooner. And so therefore they may be conflicted to approach you, yeah? I'm feeling that there, you know, there's a lot of regret, maybe even a little bit anxious or scared. They may not believe that, that you know, they may... They may believe that you don't believe that they have transformed and they now see the connection as long-term commitment, marriage. That's why you're being guided to bring a gentle touch. Believe, listen to what they've got to say. You also could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus in your chart. Yeah, with the page of cups, um, I feel uh, Aquarius, you're being guided to offer that cup of love, a small token of love. Yeah. Some of you, um, it may be accepting an apology, giving an apology. Maybe you pushed too much for long-term commitment or marriage, okay? Sometimes you've got to leave things in divine timing, you know? I say it all the time. Sometimes you may feel that you've lost something, but you haven't. Divine Spirit Universe is in the background transforming that person. And this is a prime example of the transformation of that person. So you're being guided, look at that with the Queen of Wands, to take action and offer that, that, that token of love, yeah, with a gentle touch. Listen to what they've got to say, all right? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you... Tell me, how does the soulmates of um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? 
week commencing July. Thank you. And then, we, yeah, look at that. The Four of Cups. I told you, this person wants to come towards you, okay, and offer that cup of love. They're coming with peace. And they are unsure whether or not you're going to reject them, all right, which is putting both of you at a standstill with the hangman. Do you remember I said the tree? Look at the tree. Many of you, um, I feel that um, before you make a decision, before you react, go sit with nature, go meditate, connect. You're being guided to connect with your higher self so that you can hear and see clearly the guidance that's being given to you. Because this person wants to come towards you with that cup of love and they're coming in peace. And I feel that as you meditate or sit under that tree in silence and patience, you'll get the message to take action and offer that love. Almost kind of give them the green light to encourage them to come forward. All right. But at the moment, I feel that you guys are at a standstill. Those of you that are single, I feel that many of you. You maybe have rejected love in the past because you were putting your career or finances, your life in order, getting your ducks in order, um, you know, getting your ducks in a row. Um, but you sacrificed, you sacrificed love for that. It put you in a standstill period when it came to love. And you're being guided that as you hold your peace, that you connect with Mother Earth as the cosmos um, blows in that creative energy to open up your heart to give and receive love you're going to get that message to take action to give love to somebody somebody that possibly might be interested in you and you may not have even really noticed them yeah because you may be so wrapped up in self you know your career your finances you doing you there's nothing wrong with that but you may not be seeing somebody right in front of you. They're conflicted. They've got this real internal conflict. They may know that you're a very driven person. You haven't got time for love. Yeah? It's put them in a standstill period. And you may end up marrying this person. So single Aquarius is, it's time to open up your heart. Yeah, if you want love, it, this is the time. This is the time you're being blessed quite heavily. And whoever this person is, you've lived many lives with them. For those of you uh, that are in relationships or just got out of a relationship or, um, you know, a relationship didn't take off, uh, you guys must have pulled, the energies must have come apart at some point. This person is missing you, missing you and... Um, is because the two of you have lived many lives together. So once where they were conflicted, now they're being transformed and now they're seeing the connection as divinely guided, okay, long-term commitment marriage. And I feel that they are, um, they are now conflicted whether or not they should approach you to um, offer that cup of love because they may feel that you may reject it. With the six of coins coming out here, um, I the, the six of coins is all about balance. So you could be dealing with um, a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. Uh, the six of coins um, in reverse is all about um, somebody perhaps maybe have judged the situation. So if you were really... Um, you made your intention clear, Aquarius, that you want long-term commitment marriage and they weren't really on board with that. It's almost as if they may have judged that they judged the situation poorly. And in a time of separation, Divine Spirit Universe has been working on this person and has transformed their thinking so there is a rebirth, there's a transformation, there's a change of heart. And this person may have realised that they had misjudged the situation. Yeah, misjudged the, in fact, misjudged the situation royally because 
away from you. They missed you. And that might have been the trigger for them to stop and smell the roses and appreciate, um, you know, the connection. For those of you that are single, it feels as if uh, many of you may have been um, in the nicest possible way selfish with your time you weren't ready for love you didn't have time for love you were focusing on material wealth your money getting your ducks in a row living life and now i feel that you are entering into a phase of transformation i feel that divine spirit universe has been working on you to transform your thinking, to open up your heart to love. And so many of you might be feeling nostalgic of your very, you know, your last relationship that may have happened years ago. You're kind of feeling like, okay, I'm 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 successful, I I'm am where I am, but something is still missing. It's love. With the uh Knight of Wands, whoever you're connecting with, um, this is somebody that is um kind of uncertain to take action, all right? And that's covering the five of wands, which is internal conflict, okay? So with it coming in reverse, this is somebody that is quite pessimistic, yeah? Pessimistic, got this internal conflict because they think that if they come towards you with that cup of love, that you may reject them. If you are single looking for love, I feel that um, many of you uh, may have been in your ego, very pessimistic about love, an internal conflict about love. Divine Spirit Universe is transforming all of that, okay? Because I feel with uh, spirit having your back and the cosmos almost blowing in that creative energy. Uh, many of you, you're going through uh, uh, like a transformation of self to be open to love, to come out of your ego, come out of any pessimism that love is not for you or, you know, if you had a guard up around your, your heart space. It's slowly, slowly coming down. And the transformation of that is really, really beautiful. Thank you. And there's the devil card. Yep. So I'm not being funny. Uh, single uh, Aquarius is, if you're resonating with this message, you, it, you were in a toxic, unhealthy place when it came to love. Closing your heart off, focusing on the material world in your ego pessimistic it was negative those of you that um are um in a relationship or you and this person broke off or the connection didn't really take off uh, i feel that uh, whoever you're connecting with they are uh, in that energy of pessimism you know not sure if they offer that cup of love to you whether or not you're going to reject it it's unhealthy for them. It's unhealthy for the connection. And so therefore, by you bringing a gentle touch and offering some sort of token of love, it almost, it transforms the situation. You also could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. All right. And there is the three of cups. So many of you are going to be celebrating, celebrating this connection. You're going to know that this person wants to get to know you, be around you, celebrate the connection because there's a rebirth. Those of you that are single, you're going to meet somebody pretty soon. If you can open up your heart, be still, be patient, connect with yourself, your higher self um, and be open. Be open to what the cosmos is blowing your way. Many of you are going to meet this person pretty soon, celebrating, getting to know this person. Uh, many of you, they're going to be thinking about you quite a lot. And thinking about you, I'm saying that because those three cups and that one cup is four cups. But notice there's no one slouching here. So this person is going to feel quite confident. They're thinking about you. These are the single ones. Single Aquarius is, if you're with somebody or there's somebody that is the object of your affection, they're going to be thinking about you. 
you giving them that token of love, that green light, yeah, they're going to be happy. You've, you're giving them hope that, yeah, things can move forward. A rebirth is really in sight. With the moon card, uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. Uh, there's a, a little crab here, so you could have Cancerian or Cancer in the other person's chart. Uh, whatever is in the darkness needs to come to, to the light, okay? And Aquarius, those of you that are single, um, you're going to be revealed with the cosmos, blowing that creativity, that actually the world um, has so much vastness of opportunities um, to be even more abundant, okay? You may be abundant and successful in life and money, but, you know, divine spirit universe, the cosmos wants you to feel the abundance of love, okay? And for many of you, uh, you're going to be coming out of that darkness into the light, ready to give, ready to open your heart with a gentle touch, like th those guards coming down, those of you that are in relationships that um that that broke up there was a separation or it didn't take off or somebody didn't you know go to that next level you're going to see it's going to be revealed to you um that this person wants to reconcile they want a transformation they've gone through a transformation and so as you see that, for whatever is in the darkness, this per it's like divine spirit universe is in the background, has been transforming, molding this person. And as they come forward, you're going to see that, you're going to witness that. And many of you, by being still, by being patient, you're going to be guided to offer that cup of love with a gentle touch, giving them a green light that, yeah, you know, you want to celebrate this connection with them. Thank you. And the emperor. So the emperor you could be dealing with Aries or you could have um, Aries in your chart. If you're single, um, Aquarius, I feel that you're being guided by not taking action to pursue love, to be open to love. It's actually put you in a position of weakness, a, a position of weakness because you're not really feeling the full, about the, the vastness of the abundance that you can have in your life. Those of you um, that this is a relationship where you broke up, there was a separation or it didn't take off or this person just was not willing to see uh, long-term commitment or marriage with you, it put you in a position of weakness, okay? That's going to change, all right? That's going to change. That's That emperor's echoing the hangman. It put you in a, a spiritually still. And there's the page of cups. Many of you, if you're single, you're being guided to show yourself some love. Be gentle, yeah? Be gentle with yourself. Uh, those of you that are in a relationship or were um, or it didn't take off, you're being guided to offer that cup of love to somebody. Even if you feel, um, you know, that this person, person put you in a position of weakness before, be still, be patient, bring that gentle touch. And the strength card, again, weakness coming in here. Could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in uh, your chart. Uh, many of you, uh, if you're single, again, it's kind of like, you know, you're not, you weren't open to love. Again, putting you in a position of weakness. Um, you, you know, you, you were trying to control your emotions. Weakness, weakness. You're being guided to bring a gentle touch. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to open yourself up to love. For many of you, this person over here, if you're in a relationship and there was, the, you know, this person wants to reconcile or now they're ready to take things to the next level or move the connection or, along, uh, they're feeling weak to offer you that cup of love because um, uh, they don't know whether or not you're going to reject it. Let's continue. My eight. Oh, thank you. Okay. So for many of you, 
Um, so if you are single, I feel many of you have got a lot of success when it comes to your money. Yeah, with the Ten of Coins, you, you, you're where you want to be. All right. Uh, money, wealth is very precious to you. All right. You've got it. But you may not be the greatest of communicators when it comes to love. You know, you may be one of these people that feel a little bit awkward in a love or romantic setting. And it's put you in a position of weakness. I feel that a transformation is upon you. You're not going to be experiencing that soon. For those of you that are uh, were or uh, in a relationship that didn't take flight, a breakup, etc. It's almost as if you and this person weren't the greatest of communicators, but they're coming towards you because they want to build a future with you. Many of you, once upon a time, you may have wanted to build a future with this person. You saw them as long-term commitment marriage, somebody that was divinely guided into, into your life, but they didn't see it at the time. So it may have resulted in stagnation, the two of you being still. You know, neither going left, neither going right. Some of you may have full blown broken up over it. Divine spirit universe has transformed this person. And so now I feel that they want to come in and build a future with you. But they are, they, they feel a little bit uncomfortable to talk about it with you. Because they feel that you might reject them. Let's clarify the hangman. Ooh, okay, that fell out real quick. Look, so the three of wands, many of you, you're waiting. Um, sorry, your person is waiting, um, waiting to uh, balance out their emotions, maybe waiting for you to give them a green light before they can come forward because they're very conflicted and they're spiritually still. They don't know what to do. It's unhealthy. Uh, for those of you that are... Um, that are single i feel that uh whoever divine spirit universe has for you they're waiting they're waiting for you yeah it's like this person will know you as soon as they see you with the uh knight of swords i feel that um either somebody rushed in and said some harsh um words in some shape form or another or which put the connection. So if those of you that are um, in a relationship or it didn't take flight or there was a breakup, uh, there could have been words that were said that put both of, that put the connection at, at, at a standstill, at a, a, a hangman, a spiritually still, okay? The Knight of Swords um, in reverse is it put this connection in a position of weakness. There's a lot of weakness coming out in this reading, Aquarius. But with that Knight of Swords in the center of the reading, if you if you were in a relationship with this person or it didn't take flight or um, they didn't want to move things to the next level, uh, words may have been said and it put this uh, uh, situation at a standstill. And many of you may have walked away with the uh, Eight of Cups, said goodbye. Words were said that put the position in a uh, in, in a weak position, and many of you may have walked away from this person. If you're single, many of you, what you are speaking to yourself is putting you in weakness, okay? Because you're blocking yourself from um, you know receiving love, being open to love. Many of you, the last relationship that you had, you may have walked away from it a long time ago. You may have been so hurt by it that you just put up a wall and just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to focus on me and focus on my career. Fair play. But with regards to love, it put you in a position of weakness. And I really do feel with the amount of divinity cards that are coming up in your crowning message, like divine spirit universe just wants you to experience what true love is all about. Love for self, loving yourself enough, being gentle with yourself enough to think, OK, I may have walked away from a relationship um, many years ago. I may have um, put a block around and said goodbye to relationships because I ain't in it don't want it too much heartache 
Be gentle with yourself because you're putting yourself in a stagnant position. You're not really experienced the vastness and abundance that divine spirit universe wants to bless you with. So be gentle with yourself, open up your heart. And for many of you, those of you that are in a relationship or were in a relationship and you walked away because this person didn't see the connection as long-term commitment, marriage material, that's what you wanted, okay? They see it now, all right? And the two of you may have had words, that's what triggered you to walk away. They've had a 360 turnaround. So be open and patient and listen to what they've got to say. Be still because your abundance is about to uh, blossom, to be transformed. You also could be dealing with the Pisces or you could have Pisces in your chart. All right. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. <clears throat> My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Ooh. These two wanted to come out, evidently. Look at that potential. The littlest key can open the heaviest door. You guys, with regards to another person, okay, that you were with, uh, there is potential for that key to unlock a rebirth, okay? For those of you that are single, you have the key to unlock a very heavy door that you had put around you with regards to love and then wallflower look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out this kind of feels a little bit for the single people out there single aquarius uh you're being guided that you've got the key to open your own heart to let love in look for the light look for the light at the end of the tunnel to 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 find that key to unlock your heart uh many of you as you look you will see many of you there might be somebody that you know that's right in front of you that loves you very much could be a friend could be a colleague but you're not seeing it you have got the key to unlock that and see it be still be patient and for those of you in the relationship scenario uh, whether it's a breakup a connection that didn't take flight i feel that for many of you you're being guided to see the good to see the transformation look look in the look for the crack in the concrete you will find your way out you will see this person has gone through a tr transformation and is almost it will trigger you to offer that that cup of love that um green light it will transform the whole whole connection and look at that look at that dear take a risk and fly both singles and those that are in relation, couple relationships uh, dare to be different, dare to be still, be patient, to listen, dare to bring a gentle touch to yourself, to the connection, dare to unlock that door and let love in. Let the cosmos blow that creative um power of love so that you can have that vastness of abundance all right remember reap what you sow if you sow love peace and light you will receive love peace and light whether you are single or in a couple all right i'm going to leave that there for you aquarius if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye